I want to talk briefly about the book *The Prosperous Coach* by Steve Chandler and Rich Litman, and how much I disagree with the book. So, the book basically suggests that you should go around in your life and see who might be, as you have conversations, you see who might be open to your coaching. And then you ask them something like, well, given that issue that you're describing, would you like help with that? And if they say, yes, I'd, I'd love help with that, then you invite them into a, a free coaching session that lasts for 90 minutes to two hours, sometimes longer. That's what Steve and Rich recommend. 90 minutes to two hours or, or longer free coaching session with you. And by the end of that free coaching session, if it went really well, then you suggest that you meet again with them to talk about working further together. And in that conversation, you would pitch them a high ticket coaching program for you. Because guess what? You have to, because you're, you're having these two hour conversations with a bunch of people and it's a lot of your time and energy. So you better get at least a few people paying you high ticket prices. So I disagree with this book, this, this, this strategy on so many levels. I've, I've made a longer, uh, Facebook live video about this, but I'll just say briefly why I disagree with this. First of all, the authors themselves, I don't know if they're even doing the strategy themselves. I, what I, from what I can tell, the authors themselves are using my strategy of authentic content marketing. Cause you go on YouTube and you search their names and they have so many videos up uh, of them giving advice, um, being interviewed and, and, and also doing sample coaching sessions with their clients. I think that is smart. If you're going to do sample coaching sessions, try to do it with people who are willing to be recorded. It's for free for them, but they're willing to be recorded so that the, the rest of the public can see how you do coaching. And I think that's one, that's part of the content marketing strategy. So as far as I can tell that the authors are doing my strategy publicly. Now, privately, are they doing their own strategy that they teach? If they are, they're qualified to do it because think about this. The authors are now, uh, even before the authors wrote this book, they're already, they were already quite popular, especially Steve Chandler. And he already has lots and lots of people, leaders, executives, people who are wealthy, who would love to have his coaching. And so he can choose who he wants to give the two hour free session to, choose someone for whom money is not an issue and for who is really eager to have his coaching and then give that two hours and then sign up, sign that person up as a $5,000 a month client. That's some, something the authors can easily do compared to us. Most of us, if we were to give two hour sessions, it's to our friends, it's to our colleagues, people probably for whom money is an issue and can't sign up for high ticket coaching. So I just think that the strategy is not wise for most of, most of us who are, you know, um, the people around us aren't like wealthy and, re and like eager to get our coaching. But for the authors, fine. They, they might be applying that. But, but here's the other, here's the kicker here. Several years after the book came out, one of the authors, Rich Litvin, made a YouTube video called The Prosperous Coach 2.0. I encourage you to go and look up that YouTube video. And guess what he says in that YouTube video? He says, don't spend two hours free sample with people. Instead, spend 15 minutes, 15 minutes. And, and this is incredible because that's, this is what a lot of people got out of the book is, okay, I'm going to do two hour free sample coaching sessions. And now several years later, one of the authors backtracked and says, no, no, let's do 15 minutes. And it's like, wow, really? That was really the, the core of the book is to give a lot of sample sessions seemingly altruistically, but it's really part of a sales strategy, which I don't like that either. So let me wrap up by saying my sales strategy for coaches is not to pretend to be so altruistic and giving all this free sessions away and therefore feeling some, probably some resentment that you're giving all this away and few people are saying yes to it. So much energy, so much time, but instead to spend the same amount of time creating, being creative, like practicing creativity fitness. It's a fitness practice of, of showing up, sharing what you know, sharing your life's experiences, sharing experiences from working with clients, of course, keeping the clients anonymous unless they want to be on screen and have a sample session. But it's like you, 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 you use the time and energy to create because every piece of content you create 
doesn't just help one person, like in a sample session. It helps dozens of people, maybe even hundreds of people or thousands of people, as you know. I mean, every video you make or every, you know, post you write reaches dozens, if not hundreds of people, right? Maybe more. And all those people start to get the benefit of what you do. And some of them will then be eager to work with you and they will approach you about the services. And then you can decide if you want to do a sample session or, or of, of any length that you want to vet whether they're a good client or not. And then you go from there. Like th That is so much more reasonable and realistic of a, a real world strategy than the prosperous coach, in my opinion. So I, I, those of you who have read the book or have tried the strategy, I welcome your comments below. Let me know what worked well for you and what, <laughs> what do you think about what I said? So thank you so much for joining me.